Hey guys, I'm going to tell you all you need to know in the first 20 seconds, and then you can watch the rest of the video if you want to. If your ski feels like it's digging into the ground and darting all over the place, that means it probably needs to be riding like this instead of like this. So, come on back here, stick a piece of rubber right there, and voila, it'll work. All right, now watch the rest of the video. Sorry, that was actually 27 seconds. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been having so much fun this winter. Um, I got some good footage so far. It's gonna take me a few minutes to get it put together, but I did wanna to put together a quick little video today on how to shim your front ski so it rode like it's supposed to and didn't dig and make you dart all over the place on roads. I have a theory that these little slots right here are just not quite perfect for all setups. Thereby more or less causing your front ski to sit right around like this with the front down instead of like this. So what I did is when you set your bike further down on the ground like this, pay real close attention to where the pressure is riding on your skag. You want it to where the pressure is somewhat in the center of the skag or even a hair behind it. If it's like that, then your ski is essentially going to be riding around like this and the front of your skag down there is not going to be catching on things and pulling your ski all over the place. If it's up like this, and I'm totally exaggerating it, you can get over things easier. You can ride down the road easier. You can get over logs. You can cross asphalt if you have to. But what I want to talk about here is where is the pressure point on your skag when your bike is on the ground level? Tracks on the ground. Everything's on the ground. You can see my skag under there. You can see there's, I'm going to push on the front of the ski here. You can see there's kind of a gap in the front of the skag right here. It's lifting up just a little bit. Before I did what I call shimming the ski, um, most of the pressure was actually up here on the front, which is like clear up here in front of this bolt. And you want it somewhat centered or maybe even a touch behind this bolt up here. Because if all your pressure is up here, your ski is constantly being pushed down into the snow. You want it like lifted up so it can climb over things. And what would cause it to lift up? I actually came back here on the back side of the ski and I put, you can see it here, get the light on it. There you can see it. See this piece of rubber? All this is is one piece of rubber that I cut out of a motorcycle inner tube. And I just stuck it in there. I had to take the ski off to do it. I stuck it in there. I used a couple tiny little um, nails to secure it. And then I even did a little glue to make sure it stayed. Now there's different ways to do this. You could pull this rubber out and underneath the rubber, you could put like a small piece of wood or steel or something. Anyways, there's different ways to do it. But essentially what you're doing is you're putting rubber here, which is pushing the back of the ski down, thereby lifting the front of the ski up. You lift the front of the ski up. If you're lifting the front of the ski up, you're getting over things easier. So prior to me doing this, the front of my skag was catching on rocks. I felt like even going down the road, I felt like the ski was just driving into the road instead of cruising along the road. But, God, that made such a big difference to shim that ski and get it to where it was climbing over stuff. Um, even crossing highways on asphalt with the Aero Skag ski, it cruises right across. I should also mention, one thing I forgot to mention is the front of my Aero Skag here. I actually uh, trimmed that or ground it. It used to come down. It was a pretty steep angle. It came down here and then went back. I took my grinder a saw to it and I actually cut it off and trimmed it out pretty good. Anyways, I wish this showed this better, but essentially 
the pressure is now somewhere back in here, the main point of pressure on this ski. And before it was up here, you don't want that. Shimming my ski with that one little piece of rubber up there made all the difference in the world for me. Um, anyways, I hope that's helpful for Just you. one funny note. This used to be all nice and pretty before the season. It gets cold, you go through trees, bust it up. Bust up your plastic going through trees. Busted up this going through trees. I tried gluing it. Glue lasted once or twice until I hit the next tree. Now it's just black taped. That is why you put all your crappy plastic on your bike before you go snow biking. Now I'm done.